Now that my floor plan has been exported from Revit, I need to coordinate its location on the site plan. I'm using the property lines in the Revit model drawing to align to the property lines in the Civil 3D drawing. This will ensure the drawing from my Revit model is placed in the right location and rotation on the project site. After you've placed the floor plan drawing and aligned it to the property lines, it's extremely important to ensure that it's also at the correct elevation. For this example, I know that the finished floor elevation for the level I've exported from Revit is to be 780 feet 6 inches. So I'm simply adjusting the Z elevation of the XREF to the correct elevation. At this point, we can start the actual process of coordinating the locations of the Revit model with the Civil 3D site plan. On the Toolspace palette, navigate to the Toolbox panel, Miscellaneous Utilities, Shared Reference Point, and execute the command. You'll be prompted to pick two points, the origin and a quasi-north point. I'm using column grid intersections as my pick points since these are not only easy to identify, but also easy to relay back to the architect or engineer working in Revit. They will have to pick the same points in the same order to keep the files aligned and located properly. And as you can see, it automatically picked up the Z elevation of the XREF. Make sure you double check the units and set accordingly. It will always default to meters. You want to ensure you have consistent unit settings across all of your design files so as to not encounter any geometry scaling issues. I've given the XML file a name that is both descriptive of the building and the two pick points and also saved that to my Autodesk Construction Cloud project. 